What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a search bar inside of your navigation controller. The first thing we're going to want to do today is just get rid of our view controller and get rid of the view controller.switch file. So then we are going to pull out a navigation controller and we are actually going to start off by going to file, new, file, and we want to add source, Cocoa touch class, and we want to add in a table view controller called and yours isn't most likely going to be already on that. You're going to want to click this and go type in UI table view controller or scroll through and find it. And we're just going to call it the search. And create. And then we're going to go back to our storyboard. We're going to click the root view controller, which is not the initial thing. It's the thing on the right. And we're going to click that, go into the identity inspector, and we are going to go to search table view controller. If it doesn't show up, it means something went wrong because it should know already what the table view controllers are. What's nice about the table view controller, as you'll see over here, pull it down in here, it comes with all of the delegate methods needed to mess with a table, but we're actually not going to do anything with any of those. So we're not going to look at that. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to get rid of this completely. And we are going to create our own function called create search bar. And there we go. And we're going to want to call it inside view did load. It'll be the first thing we do after obviously the initial thing. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say let search bar equal a UI search bar. And we're going to make an instance of that. So then we need to say that the search bar does not have a cancel button. So we'll say shows cancel button equals false. And the reason for this is because you don't really want that there unless you need it there. And there, sometimes there's better things to do with it. So we're going to also create our own placeholder. So we'll say equals uh, enter your search here. Let me put something in there. And then we will do search bar dot delegate equals self. And now you're going to see that it's going to throw a fit because we actually need to make it the delegate. So we'll say UI search bar delegate. We have to conform to the protocol. What's really cool about that is there's a bunch of really nice functions you're going to get to use, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to want to use that later. So the last thing we have to do inside of our create search bar is put it into the navigation controller. So we need to say self dot navigation item dot title view equals our search bar. And after that we should be able to run it. I don't know why I went back to the main dot storyboard. There's no real reason. Ah, there is a reason. I knew I was forgetting something. We need to go to our main storyboard. If you go to the beginning navigation controller, you have to go into the attribute inspector and say is initial view controller and that actually fixes our problem. The reason being is we started a program that said go nowhere. It had nowhere to go on the storyboard. And now you can see it says enter your search here and the text will automatically go to the left which is really nice. Now to link to the next tutorial, you're going to notice now I can enter all the text I want and if I put the keyboard up, you're going to notice it's not going away. Even if I type and press search, the keyboard is still there. Enter emojis, anything. It doesn't help uh, even if we hit the X. So my next tutorial is going to be all about different ways to get rid of that keyboard once you've pulled it up. 